Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem which is the square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power of 3 times square root of 2 to the power of 5 this is equal to 32 raised to the power of x so what is the value of x here given that x is not equal to 0 so we are going to solve this by applying two methods so let's start with method 1 let's start with method 1 So here we have the square root of, this is 2 times square root, this is square root, square root of 2 to the power of 3, and then we have here, 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32 raised to the power of x. So the first step here is to square both sides, let's square both sides from here, so that now, we eliminate the first square root sign so that we have 2 times square root of 2 to the power of 3 times square root of 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to. Now, we can express that 2. That, that, that 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So here we have 2 to the power of 5. x then raised to the power of 2. And you find that 2 to the power of 5x times 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. So applying this exponent property, we have 2 square root of 2 to the power of 3. Then we have also square root a of 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 2 raised to the power 5x times 2. This is equal to 10x. The next step from here is again to square both sides. So that now, here we have 2 to the power of 2. Then we eliminate the second square root sign. So times 2 to the power of 3. And then times square root of 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 2 to the power of 10x times 2, this is 20x. The next step from here, we have that 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 2 plus 3, this is equal to 5 times square root of 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 2 to the power of 20x from here. The next step is to square both signs again. Let's square both signs so that now, here we have 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. Then times, let's eliminate this square root sign here. So times 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 2 to the power of 20x times 2. This is 40x. The next step from here, 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. This is again in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. So here we have 2 to the power of 5 times 2. This is 10 times 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 40x. So we have again here 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 5, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. So that now, here we have 2 to the power of 10 plus 5, this is equal to 2 to the power of 40x. So that now here we have 2 to the power of 10 plus 5, this is 15, this is equal to 2 to the power of 40x. Since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m. 
So this implies that that is 40x is equal to 15. So let's divide both signs by 40 so that now x is equal to now let's 15 divided by 5 this is equal to 3 and then 40 divided by 5 this is equal to 8 so we have here 3 over 8 so this is the solution by applying method 1 let's proceed to method 2 from here method 2 so we have the square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power of 3 then we have square root this is 2 to the power of 5 this is equal to 32 raised to the power of x now we can express square root, this square a individual square root of these values here so that now we have here square root of 2 times now we have square root of 2 to the power of 3 it's under 2 square root sign so we have square root times square root of 2 to the power of 3 then times 2 to the power of 5 it's under 3 square root signs so we have square root square root square root of 2 to the power of 5 this is equal to that 2 raised to the power of x now this is in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half. And we have that square root, square root of a. This is the same thing as a raised to the power a half, raised to the power a half. Okay? Then we have square root, square root, square root of a. This is the same thing as a to the power of a half, raised to the power a half then raised to half. So this implies that from here, we have 2 raised to the power half times 2 to the power 3 raised to the power half, again raised to the power of half. Then times 2 to the power 5 raised to the power half raised to the power half and then raised to the power of of this is equal to that 2 to the power of x so from here so here this is 2 raised to the power half times 2 to the power of 3 times a half times a half this is 1 over 4 so we have 3 over 4 then times 2 to the power of 5 now a half times a half times a half this is 1 over 8 so we have 5 over 8 this is equal to that 2 raised to the power of x. Now from here, we have 2 to the power of... Now you find that the LCM here, we have the LCM of 2, 4, and 8, so that the LCM is equal to 8. So 8 divided by 2, this is 4, 4 times 1, this is 4. Then plus 8 divided by 4, this is 2, 2 times 3, this is equal to 6. Then plus... 8 divided by 8, this is 1. 1 times 5, this is 5. And this is equal to that 2 raised to the power of x. The next step is that we have 2 to the power of 6 plus 4. This is 10 plus 5. This is 15 over 8. And this is equal to that 2 raised to the power of x. The next step from here, we can express that 2 basically as 2 to the power of 5. Substituting this, we have 2 to the power of 15 over 8. This is equal to 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power x. So 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 15 over 8. This is equal to 2 to the power of 5x. Since the bases are common here, this implies that a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, n is equal to m. n is equal to m. This implies that 15 over 8 
this is equal to 5x. So let's multiply both signs by 8. So that now, if we simplify here, we have 15 is equal to, this is 5, 5x times 8, this is 40x. So now we have 40x, this is equal to 15. Now let's divide both signs by 40, so that now x is equal to 15 over 40. So 15 divided by 5, this is 3. 40 divided by 5, this is equal to 8. So we have x is equal to 3 over 8 from here. So x is equal to 3 over 8 from here. And this implies that both method 1 and method 2 provides the same solution. So kindly refer the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.